Hey everyone, Anderson here. Let's get to it. The answer to this question is 168.75%. So 168.75%. And here's why. If a positive integer m was increased by 25%, then decreased by 10%, and then increased by 50%, the resulting number would be what percent of m? All right, so here is what we want to do. Notice how the answer is a percent. So we need to go ahead and mark it appropriately. What percent of M? So P percent. I'll just say P percent to keep it organized in the beginning. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to translate what I read into mathematics. So if a positive integer M, if it was increased by 25 percent. So what that means is we are taking 125 percent of this number, okay? And then decreased by 10%. What does that mean? Well, think about it. What you always want to do is refer to 100% when doing this. So if you increase it by 25%, then the result, you decrease it by 10%, well, that is now 90% of what you're discussing. This is 125%. And if you increase by 50%, well, again, referring to 100% as the original, we have 150%. So what we are doing here is doing 90% of this and then taking 150% of this. Just like that. So we are essentially applying 3% to the same number. But remember, it is... You take M, increase it by 25%, then the result decreased by 10, then the result increased by 50. So I believe that that should have been stated in the problem, but no worries. So here we are, 125% of M, we would write that as 1.25 multiplied by M. Again, to convert a percent to a decimal, you move the decimal place over two times. Up next, 90% translating that as 0 0.9. And then lastly, 1.5 for 150%. So in order to discover what percent of M this is, well, this will result in P percent. And let me actually move that down a little bit. That'll result in P percent of M. And remember to write a percent as a decimal, you divide by 100. So that's what this is supposed to equal. P over 100 multiplied by M because P is that percent. So P percent out of 100% of M. So what we will do now is, well, let's go ahead and notice that, hey, look, we have M on both sides. So we really just need to focus then on these. So what we're going to do is multiply all of our coefficients together here. I'll use red. 1.25 multiplied by 0 0.9 multiplied by 1.5. I'll grab my calculator here. And that gives us. 1.6875 M. And remember, that's supposed to be equal P over 100 multiplied by M. So remember, the M's, they're on both sides. We can actually ignore those and just focus on the P. Because what we need to do to get P by itself is just multiply both sides by 100 to get what the percent is. Because this right here is the decimal form. We want the percent. So Multiplying by 100 on both sides allows us to see that percent. So hopefully my party people, I hope that helps out. This problem is all about translating that English into math and then working with your knowledge of percents to see what the answer is. I hope this helps out. We'll see you in the next question.